Hey guys, FG Tech here and I'm gonna walk you through some details on a new radiator just arrived. But uh, if you're new to the channel and uh, like this type of content, uh, please feel free to subscribe and hit the bell for getting notified as soon as I have new videos for you. The new radiator I'm talking about today, as you can see, is the XSPC TX360. It's a tripod fan radiator, very thin and will fit basically almost any case. It has a thickness of uh, just 20.5 mm, uh, which compared to its direct competitor is still very thin. So its direct competitor would be the EK Waterblock uh, SE360, which is 28 mm. Uh, there are obviously also uh, thicker radiators for both the XSPC and EK Waterblock like for example the PE360 which is uh, very common and has a thickness of 38 millimeters. I paid uh, just uh, 65 USD dollars for this one on Amazon. As a comparison you can find the EK Coolstream SE360 for 80 bucks on Amazon. So let's go with a quick unboxing and uh, let's go through the analysis of the specification of this guy. When talking about radiators, uh, there is really not much to unbox, but nevertheless, let's go through quick unboxing. Obviously, we have a radiator with the two caps, rubber caps. As I mentioned, this radiator is extremely thin. Here we just have all the screws. So let's quickly go through some of the main specification for this radiator. It has a copper and brass core. You can probably see that through the holes. It has H90 copper tubes, copper fins, brass and tanks. Obviously, it's a matte black uh, paint finish. Its dimensions uh, are basically uh, 398 per uh, 125 millimeters. And uh, the thickness, as mentioned, is uh, 20.5 millimeters. We can see that the fins per inch are quite dense. We have 22. We can barely see my hand here behind. It has 13 tubes. The weight uh, is uh, 652 grams. Coolant capacity in total is uh, 132 millimeters. And the ports are uh, G1 quarter inch. So since this is a 360 radiator, obviously it allows uh, three 120 fans installation, but it also allows obviously um, six fans uh, setup in case of push-pull. We can see here how this radiator compares with the one I have currently installed which is the EKSD240 28 millimeters thick. So you can already see as a comparison there is a huge difference among the two. Also the paint job is quite different. I really like this matte finish. compared with the usual black we can find on the EK solution. So let's go now through some of the most common questions uh, when we come to radiator thickness. So one of them is uh, obviously, um, does radiator thickness really matter and how radiator thickness affects uh, uh, temperatures. So the general rule that we usually follow is that uh, you will get more cooling dissipation by going for a longer radiator rather than going for a slightly shorter radiator but thicker. 
So uh, what really matters after all is the amount of surface uh, that gets dissipated. You can find proof of that uh, in uh, various reviews and tests you can find on the web, but I find these tests from uh, Tech to Power Up are really self-explanatory. As you can see here, we have our TX360 with its 20.6mm of thickness compared with the RX360, which is a huge radiator with an incredible thickness of 56 mm in total. So modern double. But is the performance actually double that? Not at all. Actually, on the other side, there is basically no difference in temperatures, just minor change, but nothing visible or useful in most scenarios. The RX360 has 13 FPI compared with the 22 fins per inch we have, we have on this TX360. And uh, remember that the higher the amount of FPI, the better the dissipation will be. But more difficult will be to blow the dust out of the radiator. So it will be much more complicated to clean it. On top of uh, what we just saw, my decision for thinner radiator were basically driven by these three main reasons. I wanted, first of all, uh, more clearance, more space for operating within the case. Second, thicker radiators are also more difficult to bleed and to drain, so more complicated also to remove air bubbles uh, uh, from it. And the third point, I think a thinner radiator looks better after all in the case. I will soon post anyway another video with this radiator installed in my loop, so stay tuned for that if you are interested in this kind of content. You can click in the subscribe button and hit the bell for being notified as soon as a new video is out. You can also follow me on my Facebook page where you will see basically previews and information on what's coming next. Uh, you can also ask me for any new video would you would like to see in this channel uh, through Facebook or through the comments below anyway in YouTube. With that said, that's all for today. I hope you guys are staying safe and feel well. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.